In William Shakespeare's tragedy, Romeo and Juliet, Juliet, smitten with Romeo, in whose love is reciprocated by him, feel as if they cannot love one another because their families are rivals. But nevertheless, their love is so intense that Juliet, trying to convince Romeo that they should be able to love one another, says, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Juliet essentially is saying it doesn't matter if his last name is Montague and she's a Capulet. They should nevertheless be able to love. The name, she's saying, doesn't matter. Certainly in that respect, with rival factions or warring factions between families blocking the love of two young people, that is in itself a tragedy. And in a sense, in that respect, the name really wouldn't matter. But in another respect, names do matter. They matter a great deal. We don't call upon any other name but the name of Jesus Christ, who alone is our Lord and our Savior. That is the name in heaven, on the earth, and under the earth, that at the sound of that name, every knee should bend and confess to God the Father in heaven that Jesus Christ is Lord. There's another name, my dear friends of Christ, that matters a very great deal. And that is the name whose feast we celebrate today, the most holy name of Mary on September 12th. Mary, the mother of Jesus, and therefore the mother of God. Her name is a name that exalts God, glorifies God, because as his most perfect creature, Mary has opened herself, body, mind, and heart, to bearing Christ to the world. Mary is our mother, and our sure and certain hope to draw more deeply to her son through her. Each time we invoke the name of Mary, we seek to be more close to her son, Jesus. Each time you and I invoke the name of Mary, we seek to become more like her, a faithful disciple of Christ, a faithful daughter or son of God the Father, and a faithful adherent devoted to God the Holy Spirit. Each time, my friends in Christ, you and I say the name Mary, we seek to become more of what God wants us to be, those who are called to be saints and those who make space for grace.